Hi everybody, it's Dara, and I have almost zero idea of what I'm going to talk about in this video, but all of a sudden I thought I need to make a video, it's been too long, and I like to not only show you how to make raw food really easy and tell you why the raw food lifestyle is so great and how it's helped me and how it's helping my 85 year young dad who went seven months ago he didn't go raw vegan right away so there could be the thing that I want to talk about when I started feeding my parents when I found out my mom was sick I started making things according to the Gerson protocol Gerson therapy and that's a lot of cooked foods that's stews but they're cooked so cleanly that's a pot with vegetables and water and it's not a whole lot else so it's just you're eating the vegetables you're getting nurtured you're warm and it's easy to digest and I can tell you that they both were detoxifying so it's possible to go from a heavy cooked food diet to also eating a cooked food diet and still detoxify and get on your next level of health and awareness about what to put in our bodies and it's like this slow journey it doesn't need to and probably shouldn't happen overnight so if you're going from eating hamburgers and pizzas and cheese and dairy that's mucus forming and wheat that's inflammatory and um, the list can go on and on and on and I'm not even talking about the chemicals and preservatives and food colorings or pesticides and all of those things I'm talking about just heavy cooked food and if you jump from that to eating a really clean raw food diet which is just very little fat and you know you just might detoxify too much and we don't want to do that to ourselves we don't want to go into too much of a crisis if you want to know if what detoxifying looks like all you have to do is type in in the google search detox symptoms and you'll see headaches and nausea and fatigue and what happens to most people when this period of time or this this sets in this crisis is it's a natural inclination to step back to what we were eating because instantaneously we will feel better because we'll have the things that our bodies are used to our bodies may have been craving the adrenaline and the meats and the hormones and all of the stuff that's packed in there that's so unhealthy it's a shock to our system to not have it so to put it back in is going to stop the detoxifying process so what I usually recommend to people when it's you know time to clean up is just take a look at what you're eating now and say okay I'll eliminate one thing then I'll eliminate another thing and then maybe I'll add one true thing like Dara's one true thing green soup or a beautiful smoothie and one thing a day so if you don't worry about giving up everything and doing everything all at once it won't be so um, shocking to you to your mind you won't feel like deprivation it won't feel like this major crisis and eventually it will happen that you'll make the best choices possible whenever possible because your body will start to dictate what it wants so that's really what I want to say so eating an all raw food diet doesn't really mean anything if it's not going to be your lifestyle going forward it's not really a diet it's a lifestyle it's making the best healthiest live choice whenever possible and by doing that you will have unbounding energy unlimited vitality you will be a whole new person um, I can tell you seeing my dad's transformation from going to cook all vegan and cooked to raw and now he only wants raw and you can see visibly his skin has changed the whites of his eyes are whiter and you can see his bone structure again and also which is really interesting his speech pattern the way he speaks you'll notice from a video two years ago he's kind of holding his head trying to remember what he's gonna say and now it comes out effortlessly from the heart you know from above and that's what I was talking about this whole time I've been doing videos that it isn't just about beauty beauty's nice it isn't just about health health is wonderful it's about hearing our connection to what we're supposed to be doing on this planet and if we're all clogged we're not going to know and I will tell you there is nothing better than doing what we're here to do it could be morning till night you do the thing you love to do and you wouldn't even dare call it work because it's not work yes hours and time and energy expended um, so somebody could call it work but it's love and when it's coming from pure love 
people notice. You don't need to advertise what you do. You don't need to do anything other than show up doing this thing that you were meant to do. And so in order to get there, we need to clean up. And in order to do that, we need to pay attention to what we put in our bodies. And we'll be just excited. We'll move more. And, you know, it's kind of like after you eat a beautiful raw food meal, like one of my big salads made with love, you can feel different after. And you're still going to feel like exercising, like sitting down with your friend and having creative brainstorming about the next project that we're going to do. And we don't worry so much about talking about the negative things that are happening in the world. We talk about the positive. We don't say negative things about people. We talk about the positive. And so we become on an upward trajectory with our thoughts, with our food, and it all happens together. So it's not like you have to think so hard about it. Yes, in the beginning, you need to kind of educate yourself. Oh, why is wheat bad? Just to make sure that I don't, I don't eat that. Why? What's the deal with dairy? Maybe it's not good for me. And I'm not talking about raw dairy and pasteurized dairy and the kind of dairy our ancestors had when they had a cow. I'm talking about things that are pasteurized and turning into just mucus in our bodies. So we want to try a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. So instead of going on that big cleanse, you know, poof, from where you were to the cleanse and then jumping back, you feel like a failure because you'll end up doing what you used to do. So instead, it's time to educate. So that being said, there's some things that we can do to boost munchies and boost the sweet cravings and, you know, feel, satisfy our cravings. It's not supposed to be, you know, horrible. When I first went raw, I learned how to make the no bean hummus because I love to have hummus and that kind of texture. And I'd have flax crackers. In one of my videos, I mentioned to call foodsalive.com. Call them and order a big bag in bulk instead of the teeny little bag so you have your chips and your dip. Whatever your thing is, make sure you have it. My friend Sequoia that I graduated school with, she and her husband started Wonderfully Raw Cocoa Runes. These, one of these, will satisfy that cookie chewy uh, thing that you might have. And this is coconut. So this is really healthy, a healthy alternative. And I want to tell you that I was, um, you know, I'm not sure always about dehydrated foods because I like to have hydrated foods first and foremost because they're, the, they're going to hydrate my body and they're nutritious. But I will tell you there's a time in everybody's life where they want that crunchy thing. And why not have the crunchy good stuff that will satisfy. Drink extra water to hydrate, but I will tell you just pure foods. I have, I had five bags of these and I ate every single one of them. They're amazing. So just pure foods. If you don't have the opportunity to get these in the store near you, go to justpurefoods.com. Big shout out to them because these are delicious. And they're tomatoes and pumpkin seeds and spinach and onion powder and apple cider vinegar. There's not one thing bad in here. So that's that. So we got some sweets. We I taught you how to make some raw chocolates. We have my dear friend Rochelle who makes lava chocolates. And what I want to share also is that it's really okay to have, in fact, beneficial to have hot liquids. So I don't, and I wouldn't want to be a raw foodist, if that's what you want to call me, if I didn't get to have my hot tea, my hot tonics, my hot elixirs, I call them tonics. They're hot, creamy drinks that are sweet and they have all kinds of beneficial, beneficial traditional medicines in them and they warm my body. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I used to love saying in the beginning videos I want to make one mistake per video and then I'd be happy because it keeps it real and keeps it raw. So anyway, I just had this seaweed soup and this reminds me of the Longevity Now conference. Um, Len Foley puts it on with his wife, and it's a David Wolf extravaganza filled with information. And one of the most beautiful things about this conference, from even from way back when, when they first started it, they had uh, the tonic and elixir bar there. And Truth Calkins is one of the first people to really get in and put out the word on tonics. I had one of them and came home and started doing my own alchemy. But the, one of the beautiful things is that they also serve this seaweed soup. It's like a jing soup. And now they're selling it in packages. So what I just did just before I was working and I got hungry and I decided to cut open this package, 
put 10 ounces, 12 ounces of hot water um, on the stove, pour this in, three tablespoons or less if you want of, of coconut oil, and which is really good for the brain. And then I blended it in my blender and my friend and I just had an amazing afternoon, warming, nurturing, I'm kinda hot right now, um, treat. So there's things you can do. I'm going to encourage you to seek out a couple of goodies and have them in your cabinets for those moments where you think you're gonna run out and get Oreos. Don't do it, okay? Don't run out and get the potato chips. Get the Just Pure Foods, okay? So that's what I wanted to say. I guess I didn't know what I was gonna say, but it all happens. And that is the beauty of doing what you love to do and showing up even when you don't know what you're going to say because we have to trust that it comes not from us but through us and the right thing will come out. So I love you guys. Please do get your greens on and I will see you really, really soon.